Hello and welcome to um, my footage of the PUBG test server. We're going to have a look at some of the new features. We're going to look at one of the new guns because I managed to get it. We're also going to look at the new kill cam feature. Um, and we've got a little bit of gameplay footage for you. So I hope you enjoy. Um, if you watch, just up in the window here, this guy spots me through the window. Here we go. He's going to peek. He's going to have a quick look. And then I'm going to take him down. There you go. Now, why he doesn't just pre-fire me as I come around the corner, I don't know. But there you go, I get the first shots off. And he's got the DP-28, which is one of the new weapons. But it's all a little bit too late for him. And he ends up toast. Uh, DP-28 overall seems to be quite a good gun. Um, but obviously, I, I outgunned him with the AK. The perception is that the AK is a better weapon. But we will see. So up in Saverny in the back of the diner with a silenced M16. Not that I needed a silent M16 here. Uh, one of the changes has been that the M16 now can't take an 8x sight. So you're limited to the hollow red dot 2 and 4x. I think it's probably to make some space for the Mini and the SKS as the, as the DMRs. And uh, this guy comes through the window. He's oblivious. And I just take him down. Oh, there's a little bit of potato. Interesting it's tracking up and left. But he does get some shots on me. But not enough to, not enough to worry me. Yeah, so I think they're trying to make some space for the Mini and the and the SKS as the DMRs. So here we are. Got myself a, an AK with a 2X and a silencer. And we're just stalking on the hill uh, north of, well, sort of east of Severny, north of Stolber. Just hiding behind a rock. And there's a guy going to come to my left into the zone late. We can see him there. Just going to come over the hill now. I get some shots on him. And you'll see in a second the kill count. Because I just don't get this at all. I just can't kill him. And he's actually down to about 5 HP here. And he lands and I just can't get a shot on him. And he just toasts me. So the great thing now is I think, well, that's not fair. That's not fair. You can watch the kill cam. The kill cam basically lets you see his perspective. A little bit choppy at the moment, but really worth watching. So here's the guy. Put his 8x away, comes back out with an M16 with a 2x on it. I think he's kind of oblivious. He switches into a into a grenade, I think. So he sees me, he thinks grenade, he thinks no, not grenade. He's running for some cover. I get some shots, get half his HP done, I must hit him in the head. Get him down to a quarter of his HP. He kind of jumps, he now starts taking shots. I get one shot on him, look how close he is, but he finishes me off because the M16's just got far better recoil control than the AKM. But again, you can kind of, you can see and understand exactly how you died. So, next bit of footage, me with an SKS and a 2X, just watching the zone come in, watching for guys coming late to the zone, and it's just, it's just a position where I know there's a guy in the town who is behind me. I know he's going to come this way because I'd come here. So I'm just patient and wait him out. And there you go. You can see him coming. He's in the zone. I just take a shot. Get a good hit. Take another shot. Get another good hit. He starts zigzagging. I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. Miss one. Miss one. Now I think I connect here. Now I miss another one. And then I get in. Boom. Dead. And I actually take an extra shot. But again, just patience really and, and managing the zone is the secret to um, to that kill. So this is the new DP28 with a 4X on it. Um, it's got a bipod, so it'll be interesting to see what the recoil's like when you're prone. Um, I've also got the M24 out of a crate with an 8X. There's a guy up on that hill, on that ridge I'm worried about. So I'm trying to run round and rotate round to, to get in the defilade so he can't see me. But of course I'm really worried that there's going to be guys to my left and guys behind me. So I have a quick look at the buildings. Um, and I fail to see anyone in the buildings. Which as you'll see will be my fatal error. Um, in fact there was a flash there I think you could just see. Um, and I've taken a shot. And I'm now thinking well where is everybody? Where is everybody? I'm still worried about the guy up the hill to the right. So I start to rotate round thinking well the guy in the, in the houses, you know. Ignore him. So I'm now obsessed with this guy. There we go. We come up. We've got the DP28. I can just see him on the ridge line. I'm thinking, do I want the sniper? I do. Take a shot with the sniper. Miss. Start taking shots from my left. Thinking, this is not good. This is not good. I think I've got a bit of cover from the tree. Switch to the DP28. Over the top. Over the top. Hit. Hit. Kill. 
Still taking shots from the left. Again, I think I'm covered by that tree. Start healing, but clearly I'm not covered by that tree. So how did I die? Well, this is the great thing about the kill cam. We can actually have a look at how we died. Now, in this case, he is in the building, and he's got an SKS. And he's um, he's got really good line of sight on me, and I just don't end up in the right spot. So there he is. He can see me at the tree. He takes his first shot. This is before I move to the tree. So he gets a shot off. I start moving to the tree. I start dealing with the with the guy up there. Now I'm clearly not covered by the tree at all. And that's that's really the failure. He takes his peek away in okay, case so I turn, reloads, comes back. It's an, it's an AK actually. I mean getting single tapped by an AK is embarrassing, isn't it? I mean it takes another shot, finishes me off. Again, that was a kind of a position failure. I just put myself in a position. I'd already killed the guy on the hill. I put myself in a position where I can't win. So, rain map, lightning, thunder, all that good stuff. We're just outside the Povka. I'm just healing behind a hill, having taken some shots. I didn't actually at this point know where he was. I may have not spotted him, but I knew he was in that direction because he'd taken the spot. So I decided to rotate round, see if I can see him. I now kind of see him. Zoom in with the 4x. There he is, clear as day. Miss. Hit. 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 Kill. Um, gets me down to about a third of my HP. So I run off and, and heal and loot him. In fact, I don't think I loot him. I think the zone starts to come in. Um, and will then progress to, to my untimely demise. So we're now still in the same sort of area. I'm moving to that choke point. I think, foolishly, that I'm clear because I've come that way. And I didn't see anybody in the Povka and I've been kind of camping it. So I think I'm fine. So I'm healing up, looking up there. I think I'll take the painkiller as well. It's an energy drink, actually. I think it's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Just checking those buildings. There's a few doors open. Thinking about my next move. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to move? Boom. Killed by a vector. Now, again, you're thinking, how can you get killed by a vector? And look, he's pretty close. So again, we can have a look at the kill cam. The kill cam loads up. Um, I don't know whether it's syncing as you're playing or whether it downloads. But there's my guy. He's got his vector. He's got his red dot. He can't see me. He's running around just trying to manage the zone the same as me. Probably not expecting to see an idiot crouch by a tree. But he comes up, crests the hill line. What does he see? He sees an idiot crouch by a tree. I um, can't believe his luck. Even with the vector's dodgy recall control, just hoses me down. Doesn't take a shot. Nice clean kill. Yeah. So that was a positioning fail, really. I think you can see how the kill cam's going to be useful at understanding exactly exactly how things go. So I've landed on hospital. This guy's managed to land on the roof of the stairwell, um, but he's clearly AFK. I'm desperately trying to find a gun. I've picked up the ammo, thought I had the gun. Just a warning, it's a little bit laggy at the start. So where the hell's this, this gun? Ah, uh, there's the revolver. Let's get the revolver. Let's get loaded. Let's take on a nice, simple AFK shot. And again, we'll go for the headshot, shall we? Line ourselves up. Single. One. Second shot. Boom. Dead. Take the kill. Easy as you like. So a bit later on in this game, we loot the hospital. We go find ourselves a vehicle. The zone's going to be to our east. Driving merrily along. We just see on the skyline there, there's a guy. I think, well, I'll have him. I'll have him. And I missed him. And I get killed. Um, now, actually, how the hell did that happen? We can have a look at the kill cap. We can see exactly how that happened. In this case, it's a bit of a laggy kill cam. But again, the servers are suffering from a fair bit of desync at this point. I think it's just, just inevitable on a test build. So what do we actually get from his perspective? So he comes running out. You can see the stutter and the lag. He starts to hear the vehicle coming. He thinks I'll turn and have a look. He's got a 2x on an AK. Gets a good first shot off. Takes his time. Lines himself up. Good shot. Misses one. Gets another one. Sh I should hit him. How do I miss him? I never know. He never knows. And then here's the desync. So he takes a shot there. Look where the vehicle is. And he kills me, you know. But that's probably sums up accurately the state of the servers. So I hope you enjoyed that. I think kill cam's an excellent addition. The new weapon, uh, it's a new weapon. I'm not sure I'm, I'm that bothered. So thanks for joining me if you like, enjoyed it. And like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.